All right, so welcome back to the Back 40 Firewood Channel. I'm back here in the wood yard and I'm in a bit of a race against the weather. I've got rain moving in and I got a couple things I want to take care of in this video. I need some feedback from you guys on how to approach a situation with the uh, tractor using the blade on the back of the tractor. But most importantly, I wanted to give a big shout out um, to a young lady down in Virginia. Her name is Casey. And uh, her dad, Tom, sent me a message a few days ago um, and said how they were both regular viewers of the channel and they really enjoy the videos. And his daughter, um, she was inspired by the videos to create a roadside stand. Um, she saw my video and she thought that she could, you know, she's like, we can build one of those. That's what she told her dad. And so she set out uh, putting together a roadside stand. Um, I've got pictures of it right here with her by it. And then also another picture that uh, her dad sent me of the stand completed and full of firewood ready to sell so, um, so i just wanted to give just want to take a moment here and you know give a big shout out and just say casey very proud of you um, i'm sure your dad's very proud of you i think all the wood hounds here in the back 40 firewood community are proud of you um, for taking the initiative seeing something um, knowing in your mind you could also do that and then going out and actually achieving that goal and accomplishing what you set out to do. So I think that's really awesome. Um, when I hear stories like that, when I get messages about that, um, that inspires me as well. So Casey, you are an inspiration to me. I think it's pretty cool and I'm glad that you watched the channel and I'm glad that um, you were inspired to take on the building of the roadside sand and I wish you the best of luck. Hopefully you're having some sales of those bundles or the loose stacks and uh, you'll be busy refilling it all summer long. So again, big shout out to you, Casey. Um, pretty cool to hear that story. And uh, thanks again, Tom, for sending me that message. So now on to the other big topic of this video. And it involves that over there. So I put the blade on the back of the coyote. And I spoke with uh, our friend and fellow woodhound up there in Canada, Mr. GP Outdoors, and he told me that using the blade on the back of the tractor was one of the toughest attachments for him to learn how to properly use and how to use it. So once I heard that, I was like, Whoa, <laughs> I've got no chance now. This is going to be a disaster. But what I want to do basically is start pulling and moving dirt off that hillside down into this lower um, area of ground right here. And let me show you a little better angle of this. So what I'm wondering... And what I'm not sure the best approach to this is if I should back in there and just drop the blade and start pulling uh, dirt out. Or if I should angle this blade and then adjust that so I raise you know, one end of the blade and lower the other end and then go about this by going along the hillside or along the angle here. Um, that's where I'm just kind of, I'm not exactly sure the best approach to this. To start dragging it this way and scraping it down or to back in and start pulling that dirt out or to put the loader bucket on and just start going into the hill and digging it out and then possibly using the blade. I'm not sure, I think if I raise the right side of the blade that would then lower the left side of the blade. But the other thing is, is that then the tractor will also be on the angle of this little hillside. So that's where I'm getting confused as far as which edge of the blade to have up if I were to go along the hillside, or if it's better to just back into this hillside and try to drop that blade down and then pull the dirt straight out. Because um, to me, that almost seems like the easiest, but I'm not sure how well that blade will dig into the dirt. And I know, I think if you adjust the top linkage, that will affect how much you're either scraping or digging. All right, to maybe help demonstrate this grade a little bit better, I set this little board up with a level so you can kind of see, so up there where it's flat to not quite halfway down the hill, there's that much uh, drop off. So it's about a nine, a nine inch drop within that four feet. 
So now if you take that plane and you extend it out, that continues to drop down all the way down to that low point down there. But that kind of gives you, I don't know if that helps or not, <laughs> but that kind of gives you an example of the slope of this hill. So since I have a little time, it hasn't started raining yet, I'm gonna just quick do a couple uh, passes here where I'm just gonna back into that hillside and pull it out and see what happens. Just go straight out um, and then I'll see if I have to adjust the, the pitch of that blade or what, but we'll give it a try here. I'll do what I'm thinking is gonna be the simplest or easiest approach, just backing into the hill and pulling straight out as opposed to going along the hillside and trying to grade it that way. We'll see how it goes and you guys can give me some feedback. So there's a couple passes. Um, so it is moving a little dirt. Uh, the first pass I was just basically moving leaves, just <laughs> raking leaves up off the ground, but it, it seemed to be somewhat digging in, but not very much. Like, I don't think, uh, I think it could do better. But I was able to scrape a little bit off and then I would just take it down, raise up the blade and then I'd drop the blade and kind of back blade it to level it off. So it, it, it is working, I just think there might be a better way, or I think I may need just to adjust the pitch of that blade to dig a little bit more. Because, I mean, it's only scraping just, you know, just barely scraping the surface. Or I don't know, maybe that's all it's going to be able to do. All right, so the rain has moved in. So now I'm in the shelter. I'm going to make up a few bundles, a few more bundles. I made a bunch up yesterday. So I may as well use this time out of the rain to make some bundles. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, again, I, you know, I'm not afraid to admit it. I don't know, and I have no experience using a blade on the back of a tractor. So I don't know the best way to go about something like that, where you're, you know, leveling off a hill, a little bit of a hillside, pulling dirt out. If it's better to pull the dirt out or to go, you know, parallel with the hillside and adjust your your three point 
um, the angle of the blade. But then, like I said, it, you know, the tractor will also be at an angle. So, I don't know, to me, it just doesn't all add up. <laughs> the angles and uh, whatever. But it did seem to be working. So I think if I maybe just adjust that top link and get the blade at a little steeper of a pitch so it digs in more, I think that might do it. Because it didn't move the dirt, it was just not moving very much of it. And I think it could be doing better. But maybe not. Maybe if it digs in too much, then I won't be able to pull. <laughs> I'll, I don't know. I'll see what you guys say. So thanks in advance for all the feedback. I do greatly appreciate it because, like I said, I have very little experience with this. And I don't have to do, move a lot of dirt. I just want to get that hillside kind of scraped down so it's not so steep and I can level out this low spot and kind of have more of a flat working area over here. Also, big kudos to Casey down there in Virginia. Super awesome to hear about your roadside stand. Super cool to see the pictures. Thanks again, Tom, for sending those in. And um, yeah, I think it's just awesome when the, the next generation of woodhounds, we can see them coming up. So with that, I think that'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Stay safe, have fun, and be cool.